So we'll come back Nana here and then we end the next day's uh, program on this uh, fusion order management implementation. So we'll now go ahead and then I will now see this one. <clears throat> so let me go on and share my screen now. Now today we are going to see the ship set and then the fulfillment set. Now. The ship set and fulfillment set we are going to see now. So let me go there and then have a look at our parameters. Now. I'm going to click on the shipping parameters. I go to the set of elements. Go there. Click on search. Let's manage shipping parameters. Manage shipping parameters. So organization is K991 and the one. <clears throat> so here, the breaking of the ship set, fine. I will not make it as an error actually. Fine. Information means it's only information. Warning means what? It will not say, hey, come on, you are not breaking the ship set. And then uh, it will allow you to ship actually. But if it is an error, it will not allow at all. So there are three options that are available here, just like in US now. So ship set behavior is error actually. So give us a one person. Let us now create a sales order. Let's click on the now. Ship set behavior is here. So go to the home and then click on your order management. And then you go to the order management now. Click on create order. So customer is K99. Cust one of the one. Now, I'm not going to add this one. K9910, not 10, 11. One, one. K9911 is a laptop actually. So it's a laptop. So I'll go there, click on add. And then I'm going to add the K9912. That is a carry case now. It is not a billable item, it is only a shippable item actually. So click on add. And then I will now add the two year extended warranty. K9913 is a two year extended warranty. I'm going to add it. So, click on that. so now here we have got three lines open. I'm going to give a save. You're now saving this report. So the company says that if the laptop is ready, the carry case is a buy and sell item. So it is not there. You should not ship the laptop at all. Otherwise, you ship both, it is not, it should not be allowed. Laptop and carry case should be shipped together. If laptop is only ready or only carry case is really ready, you should not ship. And similarly, the extended warranty is a billable one. It is not a shippable one. You should bill the customer only after you ship it, before which you should not do it. So we will now see these two will come under the ship set and then all the three will come under the fulfillment set actually. All three will come under the fulfillment set. So we'll now go there. You click on it and then we'll now pop it the warehouse over here now. So go to the supply <clears throat> here. I'll now put K99 child one now. I'm putting it now. So the child one is now done. You go to the what's called line level now. And go, go to the line level. So I am in the shipment area. So in the shipment details, what happens? I'm now given this one. So I will now click on the first line. And then here I will now add the ship set. Shipment set I'm going to add. Now. So this shipment set field can be edited now. If I go to the view, and then you go to the columns now. And then you go to the what's called the ship set, when shipment set has been enabled. Shipment set has been enabled. And as of now, the fulfillment set has not come. So Oracle has recommended to use the shipment set itself for fulfillment set actually. And then they will now soon introduce it in from 20B or, or something like that. Now the fulfillment set also will be coming. So in which case, we have to separately make ship set and fulfillment separately. So now we are using both together together now. So click on it now. I will now go there. And then let us now add the shipment set now. <coughs> And now click on it. Well, there's override order line. No, but shipments it will be coming for editing actually. It's only becoming big, big now. <clears throat> it is normally possible for us to edit actually. 
uh, it will be in the draft mode now. <clears throat> we can now select it. And then we will now see edit lines, override order line. No. Okay, yeah, override order line. No. So here I will now go there and then create a shipment set. Click on create now. I am now going to create a shipment set. I will now say shipment set one. Click on okay. So the first line is now on the shipment set. So click on okay by which it gets added. Second line, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to the shipment set. Fine, click on it, drop it down, and then you go to the override order line. And then here, uh, no drop down. So we already one ship set created, and now choose it, and then click on OK. The third line also I will add it. The third line addition will be working as a fulfillment set actually. That is coming very soon. That will be coming separately as a fulfillment set line that is not yet available now in this place. Now, the moment I book it, what will happen is that this line is not a shippable item, it is only a billable item. It will not be interfaced to AR at all. It will not be interfaced. And you want to click save now. And then let me submit the order. So click on submit the order. So 10,009 is the order which is now submitted for processing. So you're submitting it for processing. <laughs> So once when 10,009 is now submitted for processing, we'll now go there inside and then have a look at it. For actions, and then go to switch to fulfillment view. And now you can now see, now it is now processing. And go to the fulfillment lines now. It will not be interfaced to AR at all. You can see. Fine. The order is not started. Fine. Take control fresh. So it is not scheduled now. It is not started at all. Because of the fulfillment set, what happens? It is not started at all. So click on refresh now. It is not started. Now, both first two lines will be going to awaiting shipping actually. First two lines will be going to awaiting shipping. <coughs> so we have sufficient stock also. So there is no problem at all. <coughs> it will be going to awaiting shipping. It is not scheduled. And then it will be reserved. And then it will be going to awaiting shipping. The third line, which is only a billable item, will never be interfaced to AR at all. Because of what? Because we have added this onto a same ship set and that will be acting as a fulfillment set now. So for this line to get interfaced here, the first two lines has to be fulfilled for shipment. There is no result. And then I will not right click and then I will not duplicate now. So here uh, you go there and then you go to the supply chain execution and then you go to the inventory management now. You go there. And then and we'll go to the shipments now. And then we go to the manage shipment lines. And then here drop down and then choose what all lines do. Okay, nine, seven days now. And then the order number is 10,009. And then click on search. You'll be finding two lines over here. Both the lines are coming. So what I do is I will now create a separate shipment for this now. Find click on it. I will now auto create a shipment for this now. Your yeah, shipment number will be created. I will now create a separate number for this alliance. So I'm going to click on it. I will not do it now. Fine. I will not do it. I'm going to click on it. Let me try to pick now. Fine. It will not even pick because both of them are on the ship ship. I think picking will be possible. So if you click on the shipment, picking will be possible, but shipping is not possible. I'm going to go to the actions and then go to launch picking. So you're going to pick it. Picking is possible. The concurrent is running now. It will now pick and then it will now become staged. Right? Give us even close. It will now get saved. In the edit list, the action is now going on. So click on search now. It is now staged. But now, if I try to ship confirm, what happens? It will now land up an error. So depending upon the set ship set behavior, it will now give you information or warning or error. Here I now set up as error now. I click on ship confirmation. So here it is now landing up an error actually. The ship confirm request failed because there are errors on the shipment selected for the shipment. You cannot confirm the shipment because one or more ship ship sets are incomplete. Actually, one or more ship sets are incomplete on the select ones. That is why what happens? The weight and volume is okay. They are not error actually. They are only volume. So it is not allowing you to what happens to do the ship confirmation because it is not trying to break the ship set and then we have given an error now on the order parameters. So it's okay. Thank you. Okay, no. I'm not accepting it. Now we'll not go there. Give a cancel now. We'll now add the second line also. Right. Click on it. I will not add what. I will not go there. I will not add to shipment. Now. Fine. The same shipment I am going to add it. Click on add to shipment. I am going to add the same shipment. Go there and then put the shipment number 3005. And then I click on it now. 
and then select it and then click on add no added no added. so let us go there and then carry case let me do the staging now and you know ready to use so carry case i'm clicking on it and no clicking on it i go to actions and then go to pick release now i'm going to pick release that carry case now so that now it will be staged right <clears throat> Go there. It is not. Go there. Close it now. Save and close. Come out. See how it works. So 30,000, 30,005. It is not ready. Released to warehouse actually. Why it is released to warehouse? I think it may be in the process. I think probably. Go there. Click on search now. It is staged. It is not staged. Now both of them are staged. Now if you go on and try to ship confirm, what happens? It will be coming in the meantime. What happens? There will not be any changes in this now. And click on the. You know, it is now result. And click on refresh now. It is now going to awaiting billing now. So awaiting shipping actually. So even though one of the line is partial, this line is now picked. It will not show at all. Picked lines will not be shown over here. It will be still showing as abiding shipping only. It is not started. And then let us now go there and then do the ship confirmation of this. Click on it. Let us now do the ship confirmation. So go there and then click on ship confirmation. It has got two lines now. Fine, both the lines are coming up. Fine, click on ship confirmation. Since we have given the request to quantity bring, now giving a warning. Ship uh, request. What happens is a warning. Wait in volume. A uh, wait in volume and then wait in volume. That's okay. <clears throat> There's only a warning. This is click on this one. Now it will be what happens. It will be communicated. It will be shipped now, and then the interface trip stop. Fine. The uh, thing will be running now. It is called send shipment advices. The interface trip stop. Now go there. And then how will that happen? The ITS will be running. So once when the ITS gets completed, <clears throat> and Vignesh had some problems on his ITS now, and then at first what happens? They used. The send shipment interface concurrent and then they interface it to it. Right? They have to correct the problems which is causing this send shipment advice now. Right? That doesn't be corrected. And then afterwards they have to run it. Sometimes when you run rerun again, it doesn't work at all. In EBS, when you rerun the ITS with the delivery number, it works. Here it's giving some problem basically. So send uh, shipment interface is the best concurrent now. Manage shipment interface. Manage shipment interface is the best concurrent and that will be interfacing it to your order entry immediately. So it's not running. So the moment it gets completed, you can go there. It's coming now on the on the orders now. Another orders. So click on refresh now. It will be going to ship now. It is not shipped. And then all of them will be interfaced to AR now. If I click on refresh now, I go there. It will now run the what? It is not shipped. Now uh, the data will be going into the interface tables. This also is uh, now it will be sent over there now. So this data will also be sent. You now go there and then run the import auto invoice. So the moment you import the auto invoice, what happens? Here it is not saying not started now. I don't know what the state is. Only after you run the input, what happens to it? It is now getting stuck somewhere now. The line is getting stuck now. You go to this place, mount process now. So since shipment advice has now uh, given the notify feeder systems also, it will be triggering a notify feeder systems, and then it is not coming. I don't know why it's so fine. Notify feeder system has to run now, fine, along with it now. No problem. So click on setting new process, and then it will now run or import order invoice. Notify feeder system has to run now. I don't know it's not running. Click on import order invoice. Now it has to go for awaiting billing. Fine, that is that has to go first of all. It has not run. You see, it has to go for awaiting billing. It has not gone there now. So let us now run the manage shipment interface. Now. Manage shipment interface. Manage shipment interface. It has to go to awaiting billing actually. Mode is all now. And then the ship from organization is a K nine nine one. Let me run it. It has to run the feeder, uh, notify feeder systems now. So this is an excellent concurrent to what happens. Uh, run all the stopped interfaces actually. Send shipment advice will be interfacing it to order management for sales orders, and then it will now interface it to inventory or for transfer orders. Manage shipment interface. See that. Oh God! Then also it's not running. The notify feeder system has to run now. After the send shipment advice, we will not see the error now. Is there any error or not? Then only it has to go to awaiting billing actually. <clears throat> ah, this much of information now. I know how to read it actually. No need for people to read now. So go to the file and then go to new now. Oh God! So much of information. 
This is ITS actually, equivalent ITS. And reading it is really, really difficult actually. So there will be some errors, something else not run. Even the sense shipment is also has not run. So one even goes to awaiting billing, we can run the auto invoice actually. And it has not gone to the awaiting billing. At all. Search for error. Oh, uh, control F and then error. No? error no. The process completed without errors, without errors, without errors, without errors. No. <laughs> oh God. Okay. There are only four, four information on the errors. No? Okay. What else could I can be, Could be that the debug is enabled, that's why you are getting a lot of messages. Mm. Oh God. Somewhere something is error. No? The notify failure system, shall we? I will not try to run it manually now, and I'm not sure about why that is not coming out. Only when it comes, what happens? It will now go to awaiting billing actually. Click on refresh now, see whether it goes to awaiting billing or not. Ah, it has now gone to awaiting billing. Yes, it has now gone to awaiting billing. This also will go. I think probably the concurrent may be running late, or I don't know what exactly is happening. It is not explicitly running. Previously, it used to run explicitly. It may happen because of this or because of this, I don't know. <laughs> At least, what I was, it's not going to have anything. So, this is not going to have anything billing because it's not going to be billable. It's not a billable item. It's only a shippable item. It's okay, fine. Now, both of them are going to have anything billing. It has not started. And then after the ship set has got completed, it has now gone to have anything billing. Good. Now, we'll now go there. Click on it. I will now go to the monitor process. I don't know why it is not explicitly done, actually. Click on it now. And then go there. Click on submit now. Click on submit. Import order invoice. <clears throat> import or I must click on We will import it now. As soon as we import it, we'll now say it will be closed. And this also I couldn't understand now why we are running the distributed order orchestration. Why not our transaction source now? I am now experimenting on my own now. Fine, I am now creating my own structure in a different manner now. <clears throat> I will now see whether if I succeed or not. Import order invoice. So and then once when it completes, all the lines will be closed actually. So second line is not a billable item. Fine, that is why it is not stopped at shipping itself. No. It is not stopped at shipping. So if you go on the refresh, now once when it is built, the line gets closed. So this is on fulfillment set. Ship set come fulfillment set. Now in 20B, they are going to add one thing now. In this place, they are going to add one more, one more, one more thing. In the line itself, what happens if you see this now? If you go to the view and then go to the columns now, so there, here they are going to add the fulfillment set also. Mm -hmm. It is not there. So they have asked us to use this till uh, they add it now, and then they will be soon adding it. Actually. In 20B, they will be adding it. The fulfillment set also will be coming. So put that on the fulfillment set only, that's what they say. Mm -hmm. As far as only ship set is available now. So only the ship set is available. So, where uh, <clears throat> is the ship set now? Site. Ah, visible columns. The ship set is on. I do check on this now. The ship set. The line level. I have to go to this place and check on the second line and then see on the bottom. In this place, they will be adding what the ship set, the, the full note set also will be coming up. So on the supply area to go on and see. <clears throat> There's no showing you. Oh, even the ship set itself has vanished actually. Okay, you're not showing you some uh, this thing now, fine. Overridden line actually. This is overridden. We are now overridden with the value actually. So go there. So click on the first one. <clears throat> the lines are complete. <clears throat> so go to actions and go to system fulfillment view. Here in this place, see the lines are closed. So the ship line is also getting closed upon order invoicing. And then that will never be interfaced to a year at all. This is on the ship set as well as fulfillment set. And then there you have got multiple setups on this one. So we have got multiple setups. Uh, if you see on the what's called, if you go there, you go to the manage, go to the setup and maintenance. And there are documents which explains it now. And I'm not gone to the document fully now. With such you now. Uh, you go to the manage shipment parameters. Manage shipment parameters. So what are the management parameters? We go there and have that. <clears throat> so here you have one ship model complete now. There is one ship model enforce shipment set. Yes. If you enforce it, what happens? 
it will now definitely the ship said has to be honored now it will now ignore this now even if it is it will now equivalent to error only enforce shipment is equivalent to error only so that you can try now when enforce shipment is equal to error and then apart from that what am i saying we have one uh, in the item we have one uh, thing called ship model complete now and then it will now work in different different fashion actually and what you want i'll now go to the product management <clears throat> and then all the product information management so we have one ship model complete as a item attribute actually if you go there go to the browse items then go to this item so it's a k991 now and i'm query for it i'm searching to open up any of the items now. I go to the specifications now. <clears throat> I go to the sales and order management. Yet we have one ship model complete now. That will be the master control panel. If you do it, uh, what will happen is all written in the thing. It is almost similar. It is basically clubbing of different lines. If they are all more than ship set, what happens if it is a ship model complete? It will automatically wait for you to honor it actually. Find the ship model complete. You know, wait for it to honor the ship set and then fulfillment sets basically. If it is yes actually. So an item attribute as well as in the shipping parameters also you can enforce the ship set. So some variants of that. Right? To this, uh, what have we done? There are some small variants here and there. So go through the document and then explain. So this is on the ship set as well as fulfillment set. Fulfillment set will be soon coming, and then we can even add it as a what happens extra one. Also. Next is credit now, sir. Credit check actually. Now go on and have a look at the credit check. Hmm. You go to the setup and now, sir. go to this place and then click on search so manage customers go on and query your customer <clears throat> so customer is k99 underscore cust and then leave a, uh, underscore one now. click on search <clears throat> so the customer one we are querying it now so here in ebus we can even give the credit check at the site level uh, customer at the at the or the account level as well as site level here account level is only possible site level is not possible so account level what happens you go there click on it now account level is only possible for credit check so here i go there i will now go to the profile history now so we have got a default profile now so here i am going to enable this now you go there go to the actions and then go to what uh, correct record. I'm going to give a correct record. So include in credit check has to be enabled. It's already enabled actually. So, so we will now see first of all credit check and then afterwards see the credit hold on. So after having enabled it, what happens? You go to the late charges and then for the currency you can know the limit. So we will now add the currency. If I click on add currency. And then currency is US dollars now. US dollars. And then conversion type is corporate. And here I will now say the credit limit and then overall credit limit now. <clears throat> so uh, order credit limit. So for every order, I'm now giving a limit of say thousand, and then all the orders put together is ten thousand. If any one of the limit reaches, let us say the first order is for seven hundred, the next one is for six hundred and down, and we are giving multiple orders. But if all the orders put together is crossed <coughs> ten thousand, it will apply a credit hold. <coughs> or an individual order, it is the limit. Now. So we are giving individual order limit and then overall limit order. On every currency we have to give it now. So this is complete now. Fine. The setup is complete now. And then we give a save now. <coughs> so here uh, on the profile history, <coughs> what happens? The, uh, uh, on the account profile, we have to enable the include credit check. And then on the late charges, we have to put the currency for which what happens? We are going to make a check now. So these things are now done. And give a save and close now. Now we will not do what? Now go to this place. Now find the, the shipment lines. Now we will now create a sales order. Find the customer is now complete. Find that you will now create a sales order. You go to the order management and then click on it. And then we will now go to the order management and then create a sales order for checking the credit check. Now click on credit order. I will now put the customer over here. Now find K99. <laughs> Customer, I will now order for more than hundred thousand dollars. More than K ninety nine. I will now say one zero one one. I will now order for more than thousand dollars. Go there. I will now go for another day. 
actual quantities. The total value will be more than thousand. Then click on add. You go to this place, and then here you go to the supply, <clears throat> and then the arrows you are going to put in front. K nine nine one. I will put a child or only. I will not give a save. The moment I submit it, the credit check will be applied upon. If I, we are now having an order limit of thousand now. I'm going to click on it. So no, no, done now. I'm going to click on it. So let us now submit this also. You can now see the credit check will be applied. <clears throat> The customer has to give some advance. Then only the sales or the sales representative will now release the hold. Actually, the system will now put a hold on him because he is credit worth worthy only for thousand dollars for every order, and then all the orders put together is ten thousand. If any of the limit has reached, it will be applying a credit hold. So click on refresh. You will now find the X mark coming up over here. Red X will be coming. So it is now processing now. Scheduled is now happening now. Probably I think I have not. Uh, what happens? I have to log out and log in. I think because the hold is not applied actually. It has to apply a hold now. I don't know why it's not. Before it goes to operating shipping, it has to apply a hold now. So probably I think we have to uh, what we have to log out and log in for making the things effective. So it is now going to schedule now. It goes to operating shipping. That means what? No hold is applied actually. <clears throat> Scheduled and then reserved. <coughs> it's progressing on the workflow actually. <coughs> we have to log out and log in for the changes to take effect. Or otherwise, I give in a ultra fashion or not? So we go there. We go to the customers now. I'm gonna click on this account now. So it is in the account area. So now let me go. So then I given it in the ultra fashion or not? No, I'm just gonna cancel the account now. So then I'm gonna I'm gonna click to stream. Profile is free. And here I will now go to what late charges now. So order credit limit is thousand, and then overall limit is it's only thousand. Order limit is only thousand. So this says all the sales order put together. Every order is now for thousand actually. <clears throat> And then the main one, we are enabled the credit checks, including credit check is enabled. So go there and then click on professional. <clears throat> so it has gone to everything shipping with no hold now. Fine. Probably we may have to log out and log in for the changes to take it. Oh God, we have to collect it also. Whenever as such a thing happens, what happens? We have to collect it also. <laughs> that is the thing which you have to do. Fine, we have to collect. So we have to collect it. So you go there. Because there is a change on this now, fine. Go to the plan person. Let us now collect the customer section. This is a nonsense one. Now, fine. This is a really a nonsense. I don't like it. But when I raised the SR also, they said this is the way you have to work. Collect planning data. You have to collect the customers. The changes happen now. And uh, they say preferably targeted only on those things. Now, fine. Customer is not getting it. So, customer, you have to collect and click on submit now. <clears throat> It will now run for some time and then in the meantime, whatever, they will now go for the next topic actually. Now, we will now go for order approvals actually. We will now go for order approvals. We will duplicate it. We will not take some time for the cost to collect now. We will now wait for it to collect. <coughs> order approvals, we are going to go for. <coughs> in the monitor process, we see whatever. So this credit days functionality is still there, right? Credit days, I don't know. Uh, number of days. The credit hold is there. Credit check is there. Credit days means what? No, credit days is like if uh, the customer has not paid for a particular amount of days. Say you have a... You have a but this is, that will not only well, after the sales order is shipped. Na? The credit no, date... When I, when I create a new order, uh -huh. if there is an existing order uh, for which the due date is not. already passed, oh, 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 oh. then the hold will apply. Is it so? I don't know about that. No, fine. I'm, I'm not, we are not encountered in this. No, fine. The training also, we, I okay. not learned it actually. Maybe okay. uh, we have to check the company. In this customer's area, we will not check it. Customer's area, you see, credit days... Is there any such field now? You have the payment terms, so there you will have your pay due date. Uh -huh. so if you have crossed the due date system, it automatically. Oh, 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 is it so? Okay. I know. So in, if the due date is crossed, the system will not, because including in credit check, it may be coming into credit check as well. No? It, is, it is not based on the amount, basically. It is based uh, on the uh, days. days fall, if, if he is, has faltered, mm -hmm. then. Uh, Maybe there, 
because they have brought in almost all the features of Eagles basically, and that may be there. Mm. Now we'll not go for approvals now. Fine, whether click on it, you know, configure approvals. Fine, click on set up the maintenance. Manage sales approvals. <coughs> sales percentage approval percentage. Manage sales or approvals. So what is this? Sales appointment, everything is coming, but there is no approval at all. And maybe uh, no sales or approval or something like that. I'm not sure what ABB or no. Approvals, manage approvals, manage approval limits. Something on sales or the approvals. Click on the task menu. Come on. Manage order approval rules. Yes. Manage order approval rules is there. Right. We'll now go to the manage order approval rules. This is basically a visual builder actually. So if you go to the create the new rule. A visual builder, a lot of things will be coming now. So we'll now create multiple conditions on which whatever it has to go for approval. I will now click on this now. Uh, I'll click on it. And the attribute is what customer name. C S T O M E R. There are plenty of attributes are there. So we have to identify how to find it out. I don't understand. So, so click on magnifier and then query for the customer now. There's a K ninety nine. And click on search now. I'm searching for the customer. So customer is the one. And click on OK now. So click on OK. So one condition. I will not give an add condition, add condition, other condition, and then and condition. So if the customer is showing good results, I will not say ordered quantity. Ordered quantity. <clears throat> if the ordered quantity is greater than, go there. If the order quantity is greater than, let's say 50 now. If the ordered quantity is going to be greater than 50, so there are two conditions there. If these two conditions are met, what you do is you send it for approval. Then and then do. And whatever approvals we have configured in per procurement, everything is applicable. You know. There are six methods of approval now. I will not say perform an action now. Perform an action. Just drop it down. All the six are available here now. One is the auto approval. One is what assigned to your group now. Job level, position level, supervisor level. Everything is there. Even individual workers also is approved. So I will now say, I will now uh, go to the assign to individual now. Fine. All the six methods of approval are available. So in the same way, you have to set up the procurement. Procurement way you set up, you have to set up an order management also. I will now assign to individual now. And go there, click on it. I will now put the individual name now. Fine. Assign to. Fine. Approval required. Task created now. now. I will now say a specific worker. Fine. Specific worker. Fine. Go there, click on it. So it's a EMP2, comma, K99 underscore now. One second. Uh, EMP2, come on, huh? ah, not going. Okay, let's search it now. It has to work now. First name is uh, K99, and then click on search now. Okay, if you make it big now, it's EMP2, find K99. <clears throat> I'm choosing it now. So, it's okay, can I click on okay? That's it. So here, if this is the case, I'm fine. If this is the case, if this is the case, it has to send it for the give us same now. First of all, I want to give a same now. So if this is the case, you can see now the case is what? If the customer one and then the order quantity is more than 50, it will be sending it to EMP2 now. So whatever we have configured as approvals in uh, procurement, everything is applicable here also. So click on close now. Fine. The rule is now made now. I now go there. I will now have to enable it now. Click on the new rule now actually. I will now give activate rule and then give a start date. Give a start. Now the green color tick mark will be coming once when you make it action. And it's activated. And then here what happens? Actually, save and close now. It will now become green now. I am not given a name of the rule. Now. So click on publish now. I'm publishing it. Click on this one. The direction was successfully published. Then what happens? You have to go to the order management parameters and then uh, you will now close it now. You have to go to the order management parameters. Manage order parameters. You go there and then here we have to enable approvals now. <clears throat> Is a credit check. Oh god, once again, activate credit check on uh, order submit. Fine, go there. Yeah, no, it is no. That is the reason that it is not activating it. I will not make it as yes. No, fine. 
this is also having it online i will not give a save so activate credit check is now yes now it need not have to be corrected i think probably <clears throat> need not have to be corrected so i think customers and price list need not be corrected the remaining has to be collected items and organization stock has to be collected customers and price list need not be collected that is what i heard now available credit, uh, activate credit check is now on now and then uh, whatever they go there and then uh, we'll see the credit check failure at the order limit and all this is submit the order withhold on line that failed the credit check okay. i think these are the only two things so let us now check this itself now fine because i go to the manager uh, will now make one more order and then check it now that you want I will now uh, right click and then make a duplicate. So those two parameters have not been on now. You go to the what's called order management and then check it. Now. Go to the order management and then now click on create order now. <clears throat> so it's what uh, uh, K99 cost one. I will now go again for eleven quantities on this now. So K99 eleven and then eleven quantities and we'll go for it. It's now more than thousand now. So this time it has to enable. Okay, already enabled it, na? The order management parameters will not go and see. Uh, order management parameters. The credit check at order is okay. Fine. One is the credit check. This is now enabled. This is now. Is there any other profile on the credit check? Check for trade compliance. I think only uh, this we have seen it now. It's okay. There is no other profile on credit check actually. So let us now go there and then submit in the point. Now click on this. Now this time it has to get applied. Now. So now go to the line level and then populate the supply. Now so it's K ninety nine <coughs> customer now child one now. Then click on save and then click on submit. Now. So one zero zero one 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 is an order. So those two order management parameters we are not enabled. Collection and refreshment will be required now. See immediately the X mark has come. Now. The X mark is coming. So if you click on the X mark, it will not show you what exactly. Yeah, two vertical lines, blue icon is also there. And the two icons means what? There is a hold actually. Hold is the credit check for the customer has failed for the following reasons: AR error and that was, and then it is no input. The the order lines that failed are now on hold actually. So the two vertical lines means the line is on a hold actually. Now the customer is saying, okay, sir, I will not. Uh, the total amount I had to pay is eleven hundred. I will now pay a five hundred dollar advance. The customer has paid advance. Then what happens? The, the customer sales representative will now manually clear the hold. So there is a pay hold is that drop down. It will now release the hold. So click on the release hold. So he is now going to perform a release hold. So you will now manually release the hold. So here go to an application error. Uh, your task. Maybe you have to go into the line level and then do it. Now, it's not allowing at this level. Now, click on refresh now. It's not allowing you to. But I was release it now. So go to the actions and then go to the fulfillment view. Switch to fulfillment view. From there, I think he may be in the position that he's. I'm not sure about it. Uh, you go to the fulfillment lines now. Find the hold now. Go to the actions and then go to release hold. Is there any release hold here? Release hold is not. Holds are there, man. Huh? Holds. Below. Oh, holds. Holds. Oh, holds. Holds and then click on it. And then I will not release the holds. Holds, and then I will not click on the release holds now. We will not see whether we can release it or not. Release reason I am going to give it now. Let's uh, check resolved. Failed to resolve. And then uh, customer paid the advance. And then click on save and close now. We will see whether it gets released or not. So the processing is now going on. Confirmation is taking a fine. Click on OK now. So by default, if the uh, tick mark goes away, it's good now. The hold. Two icons have gone now. Mine is also gone. Mine is refreshing. But it is not gone now. So it has got released. You click on it now. It is not gone. So it will be going to what? It is not started actually. Scheduling itself has not started because the whole now. Now it now progresses to awaiting shipping actually. Now it's progressing. This is not the credit check hold now. Now. Uh, as you were saying, the days, the number of days for which to wait to wait for the payment, and then here has to interface it. Now, I have not, I have not done that. Yet. That you can try. We will not give the example. Uh, thing to go. Vignesh, Vignesh has come or not? Vignesh has not come. No, no, no. I think there is a power cut from last night at his place. Oh, so oh. he's not able to. Oh, oh. Could be it is like he's in Coimbatore, so it could be raining heavily there. Oh, oh. Now what I'm doing is I'll not go to the actions. Go to actions and then go to correct record now, and then I will now remove this, and then put a check on the hold now. 
This is a generic hold. Right? I'm not putting a hold on this. The hold is not done. I'm going to click on save and close. So we are now putting a generic hold on this one. <clears throat> so it's not done. Now we will now create another order now. Fine, go to the orders and then click on them. Fine. Now it has gone. If you click on refresh, it will be going to have a team shipping actually. So you, you can apply a hold automatically and then release the hold based upon certain conditions. The CSR has got all the rights to do. Now you go there. We will now create another sales order. Now the customer itself is on hold actually. So K99. I think I've saved it now. I've saved it. Let me I just place if I go there and how about whether I've saved it or not. The profile is free, the credit hold is there. Okay, it is now saved. So I will now put the customer now. <clears throat> K99 cust one. I'm putting it on the wallet. You go there and then here I will now put K99 <clears throat> one one and then give it a I know there's only one quantity click on add now. Go there. You could click on the supply on that. It's a K99 underscore child one now. And then I will now save and then submit. Now a hold will be applied, whatever may be the quantity. You know, if you're not sure for the quantity or amount, anything, you will click on submit. It will all be done. A hold gets applied now. See, a hold has come. So click on it now. Fine, the hold is available. So the credit check for the customer failed for the following reasons. Credit authorization declined for the customer because the account is on a credit hold actually. The account is on a credit hold. So the order line failed or now on hold actually. Now we'll again go there, click on refresh and then we'll now go to the fulfillment lines and then try to release the hold. Now. Go to the place. Let's go to switch to fulfillment view. And then we will feel that for this sales order, we can very well release it now. Click on it. So I'm in the fulfillment lines, and then when I'm there, whatever we can now see a hold appear I'm in the on hold appearing. If I go to actions and then go to holds, and then let me release the holds. I will now really go. go there. Click on it. I will now say the credit check failure resolved. This is a basically a lookup, and then we can even uh, populate the lookup. So you know, click on save and close. So upon save and close, your processing icon will be coming up. No processing. The hold icon has gone. The hold icon is gone. Then if you give a refresh now, now it will be progressing. So that is a generic hold and then that is a credit check hold. It does not start. And that will be progressing. Now on the approval front, what happens will now go there, go to the manager, order management parameters. On the approval also, we have to enable it now. Click on it. That is approval. Go for the approval. Customer relationship check for trade compliance. Approval has to be enabled actually. There's no approval at all. Come on. We have to enable something on approval. So let's see. Now make it big now. Start approval process for sales orders. So I will now say yes. Give me a warning. I'm going to click on it. So for all the start approval process for all the things I've been enabled now, I click on sales orders. <clears throat> now we go there and then we will now create a sales order. I'm going to the manage sales orders. If you refresh it, this would have gone to awaiting shipping now. It's gone to awaiting shipping. We will now make a new sales orders. Where the quantity is more than 50. Click on them now. <clears throat> Create order now. We'll now go for a quantity of more than 50. Click on it. It's okay. There are plenty of conditions which you can write now. Right? You have to analyze. That list of conditions I couldn't understand now. where to get it actually. That is not available now. It's okay. 99. I will now say uh, 1, 2. <clears throat> the carry case now. It is now more than 50 quantities. Here. Click on it. 51. I'm going to say it. So customer is custom and then the quantity is more than 50. Then what happens? It will be diverted for approvals. Go to the supply. <clears throat> Arrows is what? K99 underscore. Uh, so K99 custom. <coughs> Give a save now. So these two conditions are met and so what happens? It needs to be approved. Now. And click on submit. We can even write any number of conditions. And then and we can do it now. And then see what when those conditions that somebody has to approve the sales order. Click on refresh. Approval pending, it has gone to approval pending now. 
now yes one more icon will be coming for this now fine there's no approval pending one more icon will be coming fine click on refresh now one more icon will be coming view approval information let us come so click on the view approval information it is like what happens here right? this thing it is now saying it has to be approved by emp2 now let us now log in as emp2 in another one another browser now so let us go there and then log in as approved i don't know go to uh, this thing ie browser now paste it over here emp2 i am going to log in So it's what K ninety nine underscore EMP two is a call ID <coughs> A A A D A at the rate one two three. So click on sign in now. So we are now logged in now. Click on this. Now you'll be getting a notification here itself. Click on it now. What is the sales order number? Yeah, for what number? Click on it. The sales order number is what one zero zero one three. The unlucky number has now come on here. Come on here. You click on this now. You well, know he in this itself, Mary itself. So here, action required approval request for order one zero zero one three. Click on it. He is now going to take an action. Whatever you have seen on the e procurement, everything is applicable over here. So you can even say what happens. You can even reassign, and then you can suspend, escalate all this thing. Whatever you have, everything is there. I will now click on simple approval. So I will now what happens? Add a notification also. I will now add a comment here. I will now see whether I can see the comment. I will now click on plus now. I know what I add a comment. I will now say name is Nana. Oh, URL is also coming. What is this? What is this URL? Both of them are mandatory actually. Or a file can be attached actually. Attachment is a URL or a desktop file. No, saying name is Nana. Click on browse now and let me attach some file. I will now say some file over here now. The word file. Okay, Telegram app is a word file. I click on it. I will now click on open. And then click on OK. By which part of the attachment is now made now. The file with the extension not allowed. Allowed exp exp extensions are file file with this extension not allowed. Allowed extensions are approvals. Ah, what is this? I don't understand. So click on it. it will now go and then approve it now. Fine. Click on approve. I am going to approve it. So the entire sales order approval has been given to uh, uh, purchase order approvals have been given to sales orders. So if we go there, one zero one one three will now vanish now. Fine, that is vanish now. Now it will now go back to our screen now. Fine, that. So click on done and then again see this now. It will be getting a tick mark will be coming on this now on the green mark. On the other will be having a tick mark. So now it has gone to processing itself. Now. The approval is no more there. And go to actions and then how to view the approvals here? View additional information there. Approval information we cannot view. Once when somebody has submitted it, what happens? We don't have any viewing at all. Oh God. That button is also vanishing. That is not correct. Now, fine. I would like to see who are all approved. What are the comments and all? Oh, nothing is there. This is on approvals. So we have seen the credit check, and then the credit hold, and then the approvals. We will continue on tomorrow on the next topics. Any doubts? This is our man is not progressing. Also. No, no, that approvals will be there at the top, uh, close to the processing. No, once they do, they have any screen. No, uh, in the top, how to see the approvals? No, fine. In the sales order level only. No, they don't have a link. Okay, maybe it may be there. I don't know where to see this. No, we'll now go to the actions and go to the fulfillment view. You know, have a look at it now. In the fulfillment view, whether any approvals are shown here or not. In the actions, you don't see any approvals for usability. Nothing is there. In these actions, if you see, uh, release holds, all these things are there. <clears throat> Come on. How to somewhere see somewhere they should give a hyperlink. Uh, in the tower header. Yeah. It may be there. I'm not sure about it now. <laughs> okay. It may be there. And this is also, bottom also, there are plenty of information, supply deals, shipping, billing. I think there is holes. Approvals, there is no such a tab in at all. Check the market. If you find it out, please tell me so that whatever we can also do that. Mm -hmm. okay. The main level itself, it must be there. 
Yeah, the header level should be there. Should be a link. Yeah, there should be a link for actually in the actions. There is no link at all. Copy new current details, pricing holds. So it's to additional, additional information. New additional information. No, see new additional information. Nothing. Nothing is there. Okay. The product okay. is also not uh, that uh, good like eBay's now. Right? They are now developing it. Whenever I mean, we raise a SAR, whatever they develop and then give it to you. Bye for now, and then we'll know. Continue tomorrow on this. Thank you.